G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. A couple of years ago I made a video about this jet boil pot stabiliser stand and a lot of people have asked me why didn't I show how to get it off because people have having difficulty getting it off the bottom of the canisters. So I thought okay then I'll make the video that's been asked for and at the same time I'll show a couple of ways and a couple of setups that I have and the way I can carry it in the pot also instead of having it hanging around the bag. Before we get to that then I'll show you all these pots, get them out of the way and then we'll get onto the actual stand itself. <coughs> now this is a jet ball flash. So in here I've got the my coffee press. And if you look at that, I have a gas canister, the 100 gram, and another jet ball pot stand stabilizer. And that sits <coughs> with the flat end up and the curved one down on the pot just nicely. Nicer if I take the actual cap off this canister. And that sits just nice in there. And in there I've also got the stove itself. So that's how that one will work in that. The actual steel uh, plunger part to this is stored at the bottom in the cup. So I'll put that back in there because that's the one I use for that one. <coughs> yeah, that, that's everything. Now we'll go to the Tokes 550 pot or cup or mug, whatever you want to call it. Everybody calls it a different name. If you carry the 375 mug inside, cup, you're not going to get that in there. It's just not going to work. <coughs> but if you're not going to carry that and you're just using this, that will sit nice flat at the bottom of there. So again, going back to the canister that sits in and with the curved sections here facing down that sits on top of that nice in the Tokes 550 and the lid fits on nice. Now I've got the 750 here and inside that I have the larger cup, the 450. Now the gas canister doesn't fit in there so <coughs> we can't use them two together the same as the 550 and the smaller cup and the gas canister. Hello puss. So, gas canister sits way down low in that one so that'll sit easy <coughs> excuse me and if you had a smaller stove that could sit in there or any other bits and bobs so the 750 is wide enough for that to sit in comfortable Quickly add this part in. The actual stabiliser with a 450 mug in there, sit on top of the 450 mug, and the lid can go on top of the 750 pot, so that'll fit nice and comfortable. Now the pot I use the most is this one, the Evanu Titanium solo ultralight kit. <coughs> now with this one the cup sits on the outside so I'm able to take the cup and the pot. But with this one if you're going to carry just the one gas can canister inside again that'll fit nice and easy 
your small stove in there, any little bits and bobs. The lid will go on nice and easy. Now, if you're looking at carrying two canisters, now this pot's made so you can carry two canisters in it to 100 gram ones. And that, again, with the actual curved ends facing down, sits on the gas canister nice. And the lid to this one, let's get this right because this pot's a little bit buckled. There you go. So that sits in the lid. Quite tight but nice. And the lid sits on top. And I've got two canisters. The jet ball pot stand support. All fitting in that one. Let's put that over there. Put that there as well, out of the way. Now let's get to the main thing now. This, it weighs 27 grams, which is less than one ounce. And when opened, it gives you a tripod. So one, two, three. So what that means is, no matter what your ground's like, So when it grounds and level, that's up, but we've still got this one and this one flat on the ground, so it's going to stay stable. Stable then, stable there, and use the lid off that, even higher, but the tripod allows it to remain nice and stable on uneven ground. Yes, your pot will be sitting at an angle, but it'll be a lot more stable than just having the gas canister wobbling around or on some stones or tweaks. And this is one of my original ones. So I've had it, I don't know, probably 10, 12 years or even probably longer actually. Probably closer to the 15, 16 years or maybe even 17 years. That's how long I've had it. it hasn't broken, I've used it over and over again. It still works fine. A little non stips non slip pads on each point and it can be used with the two different size canisters <coughs> this is a 100 gram and if you look now we've got two points a canister can go in so with a smaller one that will go on the inside ones so just push it on all right clip that on clip that on and that's all on and that can be moved when you're using it <coughs> so if you've got your pot on there or your stove you can move your stove Let's show you with this one. So they're firmly on the ground, and I can turn my stove around if I want to get access to the gas regulator there or the piezo to light it, or just to turn the path around and have a look. And then we've got the larger ones. <clears throat> and this is the 230 gram. Now the 230 gram is the same size circumference as the, I think it's a 450, is it? Or the 480, the, the taller one. So both this one and the taller one will fit on here and the 100 gram. But we'll be using the attachment points, the slots, on the outside. So one, two, three, nice and stable and that allows for it to be turned 
so you're not having to pick your whole pot up and chance of spilling it so that will hold you everything stable and you can turn it there knowing this is going to give you a lot more stability <coughs> now what I'll show you now is the one thing people have been asking for is how do I get this jet ball pot stand stabilizer off the canister because people have struggled with it now <coughs> I'll put this one back on a lot of people have been saying when they're pulling that off then go to do that I want that clips back on so pull that off and that clips back on now the way I've been doing it is I'll pull the first one off and I'll fold it down and that way it cannot go back on then with the second one I'll pull that off and I'll fold it down now instead of pulling that I just grab this part here the triangle and take it straight off nice and easy so let's do that again That's all clipped back on. Take the one. I can push it off or I can pull it either way. So unclip it, fold it out of the way. And the second one, push it, unclip it, fold it out of the way. And then just grab this and take it off. Nice and easy. That's what's left fold it down and now I can put it away now I hope you enjoyed that and that little tip of getting one of these off your actual canisters so if you did and you're not already a subscriber please go down below click on the subscribe button click on the notification bell next to it and then select all and by selecting all that means you'll be notified of all future videos coming up then click the thumbs up button, the like button. And if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much.